Caddis Maximus here, this time with a little video about the Stanley 100 Plus screwdriver set. Stanley actually still sells these. They are their best screwdrivers. The 18-piece set's $125 on Amazon and elsewhere on the web they go as high as 150 bucks for the 18-piece set. For the short 8-piece set, those things are anywhere from, you know, between $50 and $60 all the way up to like, you know, $70, $80. Um, they are pretty expensive. I just, I don't own a set, but what I've managed to find is three of the same similar four inch shank sc screwdrivers. These are all, if I can get these twisted around here, Stanley 100 plus, but there's a different evolution. We can see the more modern ones have a hex shank. Now these are forged screwdrivers. They are definitely heavy duty, really are pretty darn nice. Now part of the evolution and what we can see here is early on they were actually stamped boron steel which was pretty impressive because boron steel is the same thing that padlock shackle high quality padlock shackles are made out of it's very tough uh, very robust steel but it seems when they moved on to a the next generation of them they stopped stamping these are all 100 pluses now I believe this Oh, that's a 1007 even though it's upside down this one's harder to read that's a 1007 so both of these are the same part number we can see the same forging I mean they are forged ends and then they've ground the squares on them even on these that have been pretty well used the tips have held up pretty darn well what do I find interesting is the one that was stamped boron steel if we look the handles a little bit shorter and then when they moved on they or to the next generation of them the handles got a little bit bigger also on the current models they don't specifically advertise boron steel it's an expensive steel and you would certainly stamp continue to stamp on it or at least in the ads advertise about being boron steel so I don't know if they switched to like chrome vanadium or something just because it was still too expensive or if they are but they just certainly aren't mentioning it so that's what the the earlier model ones probably this is for, from the 80s or stamp bond steel had a shorter handle then later models they were uh, extended the handle a little bit and then we'll call the third generation what they did is actually put a hex and they changed the part number on this it's a little bit harder to see but this is a 66-16 it's no longer 1007 so the most modern ones actually have a hex but we can still see, excuse me, that that is also forged on there. The second thing that's pretty obvious is it's no longer a square shank. It's a ground round shank. What I th also believe is that the shank is just on the newer ones with the hex and the round shank just isn't quite as thick. There's just not quite as much material on this round shank as the older square shank ones were. And so that was kind of the purpose of this video. I wanted to talk about the... Uh, um, <laughs> evolution of these, my goodness, my <laughs> I'm lost for words. Anyway, talk about the evolution of Stanley's very best screwdrivers to mention that they still are available, but they are very expensive. That they originally started out as boron steel, but they moved on. And the fact that as generations of products go on, it's not just the per, my perception that they may have downgraded the steel, but the fact that they you know even though I kinda like the hex bolstering so you can put a wrench on there to get extra torque you can certainly do that with the hex or the square shanks um, but it's a little bit weaker I mean these square shank ones are thicker they'll handle a little bit more prying force of everything else being the same grade as steel etc um, and so they kinda they put on a hex but they kinda weaken the shank just a little bit I mean you can really tell here you can see I mean these are cold forge tips where they actually you know squash some flats so these are definitely still well made but if we look here we can see the the width is absolutely even how on these square ones maybe a little bit squished here but you can see how it's much more narrow on the round shank ones and so uh, that's kind of a disappointment that the current 100 pluses aren't quite as good as the older ones were and so that's the easiest thing to really look for when you're if you're hunting these downs the really the OG ones are going to have square shank and have boron steel stamped on them 
slightly newer but still really good are not going to have boron steel, steel stamp. This is, does not have the stamp on it. But they're still going to be uh, square shank. And then the, once again the newest ones are going to be round shank with a hex bolster. And even this style still, $125 on Amazon. Just super expensive. Really pretty surprised. But they are Stanley's very best screwdrivers. So if you're in the Stanley um, and uh, still really like their products, surprisingly enough, this is one of their few kind of legacy tools that they still have available. These are all made in America. I don't know if they still are made in America because the listings I can find. Um, actually, this one certainly says USA on it. So I just presume that they are still American made. Although I'm not 100% sure because the modern listings just don't really specify country of origin. Anyway, that was my little video about the Stanley 100 Plus screwdrivers and collecting up three of the four inch uh, exact same shank uh, uh, flathead drivers. It's kind of interesting to actually see the evolution of uh, these real infamous screwdrivers. And <laughs> surprising how much they've changed considering they're all 100 pluses. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.